My name is Alyssa. And I'm Emily. And you're listening to Slash and Slay, a horror podcast. Hello, and good evening, or morning. (laughs) Hello, and good evening. What if we were creepy like that? We should. One episode we do creepy. This is our new podcast, where we talk like this. It could be like the podcast. That is actually kind of like Zach Baggins. Oh, yeah. (laughs) That was like legit. Oh, yeah. Today, we are in the Mansion of Doom. It's like, uh... We're trying to find out if ghosts exist. If ghosts exist. And then it has like a jump scare. Yeah. It's like for that, no it's reason. It's like the American Horror Story. Yeah, title literally. Card jump scare. Well, anyway, guys. Guys, we are talking about ghost adventures. Yes. We you all asked for it. <laughs> love Zach Baggins. We love him. I would take 30 ghost bullets for him. Shout out Zach Baggins. He, he listens to this podcast. It's just the most silly, delusional, nonsensical man that walks this spiritual Earth. realm. <laughs> <laughs> he just, walks his own spiritual realm. I really just love his reactions to things. Um, Imagine how boring and awful Ghost Adventures would be. If without he was Zach. Just like, yeah, if he was just normal. Like, honestly, like Aaron, too. Um, yeah. But then, because he's kind of a silly, silly guy, too. Yeah. And then the other two that are on there currently. Because I've been watching a lot of Ghost Adventures, y'all. As we should. They're kind of the more serious ones, you know. Yeah, we have to have a good balance. Yeah. And I did you ever watch um, the BuzzFeed Ghost guys? Yeah. Was mm-hmm. it Unsolved or mm-hmm. no? Is that yeah, what it was Unsolved, called? yeah. Remember that when they went to... Um, Goatman's Bridge. Yeah. Too. Mm-hmm. Everybody's been there. Everyone's been there. Except for me. I would pass by it every I single day on the way to work. I, I passed by a lot too and I never went. No, I'd had no um, desire because I didn't want to get know. goaded. But my favorite ghost hunters are actually Sam and Colby. Oh, okay. Shout out Sam and Colby. Shout out Sam and Colby. What are they on podcast. YouTube? Um, They are, yeah. Where are they on Honestly, it? YouTube? Honestly, they could be our counterparts in a way because, like, Colby has, like, very dark hair. Okay. And Sam has blonde hair. <gasps> so. Just like us. Guys, yeah. do you know which one of us has blonde hair and which one has brown hair? Do you guys even know? Do you guys even know whose voice is who? <laughs> um, I don't think they do. Do you guys even know? You Have you ever done that, know. like, in a podcast and you're like, I know this person's this name, but this person's this and you switch them? I don't know. Or. No. Okay. <laughs> Mostly because, like, uh, I really only listen to podcasts where, like, I already know their faces. Oh, got gotcha. you. But I will say, um, I used to listen to, what's the radio station? 98-something. With Kelly Strawberry. Kelly Raspberry. Mm-hmm. I said Kelly Strawberry. <laughs> Kelly Strawberry. <laughs> Kelly Raspberry, Big Al. Yeah. Uh, JC Chavez. Mm-hmm. And there was one other girl, but she left, and then someone else came in. Um, but... I like because I never saw their faces, so mm-hmm. I would have pictures of what they look like in my head, and then they it wasn't too far off, but mm. I was still like, oh wow, that's weird, like that's them because I would listen to them like every morning. I'm usually completely off. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> yeah. hopefully you guys have seen us. I mean, we try to put our faces out there so you know yeah, what we look like because we're so beautiful and gorgeous. And Everybody you're should not look surprised. at us. Um. We'll see. But one face I'll never get tired of looking at is Zach Baggins. Zach Baggins. <laughs> Bring it back to Zach. With the glasses, the fake looking glasses. Yes, they're not real. The, the low, hair, the, the low jeans. The um, skater boy hats. Yes. The chokers. Mm-hmm. The graphic tees that yeah. are just angel wings. Mm-hmm. Leather. Very tight pants. Yeah. Grommeted belts. He did mature a little bit. Yeah. But he still has the same boyish energy. Glasses, hats. <laughs> yes. And vibe. Yes. I love the good old old, old days. Yeah. I was uh, telling Emily last week about this episode I saw where um they have these, you know, later on the later seasons they have like more technology. Mm-hmm. So they have this new device where 
it's like scans everything green but then when someone like if someone like an actual person is standing there it shows like the points like it shows there's like a person there and so sometimes they'll be like someone will just kind of appear there's no actual person there but it'll be like the same like the shape the body which i'm like i do i'm like hmm that's actually a really cool device because like how is yeah. that there <laughs> you know yeah. but there was this one where um this guy this sorry that was my neighbor <laughs> oh my gosh Whew. anyways talking Scary. about ghosts um the guy the guy there was this chair and on the machine they saw like a little like a body in the chair and <laughs> I'm laughing. and they're like oh my gosh i forget i always love how they've done this for 26 years and the they're always so surprised to hear a noise yes or see like anything they're like what yeah what, me? what was that man no what was that yeah like, always why are you anyways, it's probably a ghost it's probably a it's ghost. what you're looking for um yeah so, but there's this, like, person, quote, unquote, sitting in this chair, and then it, like, it f- kind of f- looks like it falls out of the chair, <laughs> and Zach's just like, oh, it's an old person! <laughs> An old person just fell out of his chair! <laughs> He's like, dude, it's an old... Yeah, I was sitting in the chair, and he fell out like an old person would. He's old. <laughs> that poor ghost is like, what? I'm not old. It was cracking me up. It so it's an old ghost. It's like oh. just like an old person would fall out of his chair. Yeah, he can't get up. Look at him. <laughs> just like clowning, it. clowning on the ghost. But like completely oh serious. So that's what's like oh. not just making jokes. Like that's the thing is like he's not actually trying to make jokes. He's like being for real. He's being for real. But what he's like the stuff he says just comes comes like I am so I'm just getting really angry. Yeah, he's like I was getting so angry at the crew. <laughs> And it's like, maybe you just hate them all. Maybe you they just hate have you. Anger I love the Alcatraz mm-hmm. episode when he like gets locked in the in the jail cell. Yeah. And they're like, Whoa, you were locked in. But there's like no logs on the doors. Like it's, an, we it's not we real. Couldn't open, I couldn't open it. Yeah, I was like, it's not real. <laughs> and I, I I still okay, I always love the ones or that one where um it was actually Goatman's Bridge too and He's with this lady talking to her, and he, she was like, I brought my kids here for, like, a Sunday walk, and as soon as I walked through this forest, I just wanted to kill them. <laughs> like she was, like, just saying she wanted to kill her kids. And I was like, I would keep that to myself. <laughs> Personally, I would not advertise that. Like, how does he get them to say this stuff? I don't know. Oh, I love him. Um, but it's obviously high time we've done a Ghost Adventures episode. Yeah. It's classic. And instead of just talking about how much we love Zach Baggins, we thought we would do our own choose your own adventure. Mm-hmm. Choose your own ghost, ghost adventure. adventure. And that will be the title. That will be the title um, that you guys are seeing. <laughs> yes. As you know, <laughs> we did not just come up with that just now. No, we are choose smart. your own ghost adventure. Um, so basically, we're going to give a premise to the software, and it is going to give us a little overview and different prompts. Yeah. Sort of like the script one we did right. so a long we'll time to, ago. So we'll have to, um, I guess, we'll have to choose mm-hmm. which direction we want to go. Um, so it'll be like, we'll do like a couple like little, our own Ghost Adventure episodes. Yes. And guys, if you want to see us on Ghost Adventures... Then you need to tweet, tweet. Yeah, I don't know what you say anymore. Tweet Zach Baggins, Instagram Zach Baggins. Tell him, please, that we want. We're his biggest fans. I'll marry him if he wants. <laughs> I love Zach Baggins. We just want to go. We want to go ghost hunting. We want to make that we our do new aesthetic. Go ghost hunting. A little bit. I think it'd be fun, and honestly, like you can make it. You know, you don't have to make them super often, so we can make right. them really high quality. And True. Like, no, actually, I'm not going to say high quality. We can make them very long. We can make them <laughs> longer, and um, yeah, it'd be I'll fun. I'll probably get really scared. Me too. So that will be fun. I think it would be really fun to do. I just want to get really scared. We 
And so if you guys want us to do that, let us know. Because we'll... If we have people want us to do it... We'll do it. We'll, we'll do anything. <laughs> we'll make do, it happen. We'll literally do anything. Um, for the Ghost Adventure? In the Ghost Adventure font. That would be good. Yes. Would y'all buy those? <laughs> um, no. Anyway. Really. No? Nope. Um, should we get to the first episode? Yes. This is season one, episode one. Season one, episode one. Of... Choose your own ghost adventure. The ghost... Slash and slay. Slash and slay. Slash and slay versus no. Ghost Adventures meet slash and slay. Yes. Like Batman meets Scooby. Scooby Doo meets Batman. Right. Remember that? Mm-hmm. That's what we're doing. Um, Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Like versus. Versus. Like we, uh, are battling them. Godzilla versus Kong. Um, this is our first prompt. Okay. Okay. Alyssa and Emily from Slash and Slay, a horror podcast, join the crew of Ghost Adventures on a ghost hunt. Zach Baggins leads them through a haunted Civil War era mansion and is, is incredibly dramatic as usual. Mm-hmm. Love it. Okay, let's see the the first part of the script here. Um, they titled it Slash and Slay, a ghostly gamble. Oh. Okay, ghostly gamble. Alyssa and Emily stand nervously outside the imposing iron gates of Blackwood Manor. Ooh. The oppressive Texas heat does little to dispel the chills creeping up their spines tonight you and uh, emily and Alyssa from slash and slay a horror podcast are joining zach baggins and the ghost adventures crew for a live investigation of this Ooh, notorious live. civil war era mansion anything could happen all right everyone gear check bark zach his voice echoing off the wrought iron he holds up a spirit box its digital display flickering ominously you exchange a glance with Emily, a silent acknowledgement of Zach's signature brand of theatrics. Do you, one, embrace the drama, roll your eyes playfully and say, hit us with your best paranormal shot, Zach, or two, maintain a skeptic facade, adjust your EMF reader, and mutter to Emily, let's see if this place can live up to the hype. So it seems like this is from your point of view, Alyssa. Which one shall we go with? I guess so. Um... Obviously, I'm going to be hyped. I'm going to be hyped. Embrace the drama. So I'm embracing that drama all okay. day, every day. All Hit right. us with your best, what was it? Hit us with your best paranormal shot, Zach. Hit us with your best paranormal shot, Zach. You quip, a smirk tugging at your lips. <laughs> this literally sounds like fan, fan fiction. fiction. Zach so throws wrote. his head back and lets out a booming laugh. Ooh. You got like it, that. Slash and Slay. Tonight we're going to rip the veil off this haunted hellhole and expose the spirits lurking within. He winks at the camera, his dramatic flair cranked up to 11. Yes. The heavy oak Crank doors to creak open, mm. revealing a dusty, cavernous entry hall. Cobwebs drape like ghostly curtains, and the air hangs thick with the cloying scent of mildew. Mm-hmm. As you step inside, Zach throws his arms out theatrically. <laughs> Blackwood Manor, feel the oppressive energy. Can you sense the restless spirits trapped within these walls? He won't say that. I know. (laughs) Suddenly, the lights flicker and go out, plunging the mansion into darkness. You hear a collective gasp from the crew. Do you, one, stick with Zack? Yell out, Zack, where are you? Keep us together. Grab Emily's arm, whisper, Emily, let's explore on our own. Maybe we'll find something Zack misses. So again, it's you. (sighs) Um, I mean, I can't leave Zach. Yeah. I can't leave Zach. We're here. We're here. This isn't a versus. This is a meet. Yeah. So, so we got to stay. We got to stay together, man. Okay. Rule number one. Stay with Zach. Zach, where are you? Keep us together. You shout into the oppressive darkness. A moment of silence hangs heavy. Then you hear Zach's voice laced with a hint of genuine panic coming from somewhere deeper in the house. <gasps> Over here by the grand staircase, EVP incoming. (laughs) You fumble for your flashlight, the meager beam cutting a small circle through the inky inky blackness. Emily bumps into her, into you, her voice trembling slightly. We should stick with them, she whispers. Following the disembodied sound of Zack's voice, you navigate the treacherous entry hall, the floorboards groaning ominously underfoot. You reach the grand staircase, its banister cold and slick beneath your hand. As you round the corner, you see Zach hunched over a spirit box, his face illuminated by the eerie green glow of the display. Is it working, you ask, your voice barely above a whisper. 
Zack nods frantically, his eyes wide. Listen! A static hiss crackles from the box, and a voice, faint and disordered, cuts through. Get out. This place. Not yours. <laughs> the hair like... on the back of your neck prickle. A shiver runs down Emily's spine. If this was an actual episode, they'd replay it about 30 times. 30 times, they'd be like, listen, and it would say disembodied voice, and then it would say something that it... It would go... And it'd be like, it said it hates us and it wants to kill us. Can you hear that? Yeah, and be like, oh, it says get out. It said, oh, it said Jennifer. Jennifer. It's Jennifer like, used to live here. Like, yeah, they'd be like, oh my gosh, it said Mary. So clear as day. I'm like... Straining. I've never hear, I've never heard a more clear sound. He always is like the most. <laughs> yeah. I've never hear, heard such a presence. <laughs> okay. Here's another one. Okay. Do you, one, press Zach for answers? What did the voice say? Do you think it's one of the soldiers who died here? Or number two, offer a calming presence. Whoa, Zach, that was intense. Maybe we should take a break and regroup. What are you trying to like? Mm, Zach, that was intense. <laughs> what am I doing? Oh, Zach, so intense. Do we want answers or should we regroup? I want answers. Okay. We don't need to regroup. We just started. We literally just started. That wasn't that intense. Okay. Mm-hmm. You're new to this ghost adventure stuff, apparently. Okay. What did the voice say? Do you think it's one of the soldiers who died here? You ask your voice hushed but laced with the thrill of investigative hunger. Zach slams the spirit box shut with a flourish. That, my friends, is exactly what I was thinking. History buffs claim Blackwood Manor was used as a makeshift field hospital during the Civil War. Soldiers died here in pain and agony. Their restless spirits could be trapped, reliving their final moments. That's a good impression. Thank you. Emily shivers beside you. Maybe that's why the place feels so heavy. Zack throws his arms out dramatically. Tonight, Slash and Slay will use our combined skills to unravel the mysteries of Blackwood Manor and give voice to the voiceless. We'll find out what happened to those poor soldiers and expose their torment to the world. Suddenly, a loud crash echoes from deeper within the house. Everyone jumps, hearts pounding. Do you, one, charge toward, towards the sound with Zack, or two, urge caution and hold Zack Maybe we should check with Aaron before we blindly follow that noise. It knows about Aaron. Yeah. He didn't say anything about Aaron. No, the ghost adventures. Um, I mean, I don't want to, like, keep picking one, but, like, I kind of want to see what that noise was. Let's charge forward with Zacky Poo. Did it say, it, did it say it, I hold Zach? <laughs> no, it said, hold on, Zach. <laughs> you hold Zach. You hold Zach. Okay, can we like, make one fan two. fiction? <laughs> number two wants to be fan fiction. Um, number two wants Zach so bad. <laughs> Adrenaline surges through you as the crash rips through the suffocating silence. Zach, ever the showman, doesn't hesitate. Come on, Slash and Slade, let's investigate, he shouts, already sprinting towards the source of the sound. Emily glances at you, her eyes wide with a mix of fear and excitement. Are we following him? She asks. Why is this like you, though? <laughs> I know. Are we following him? There's a mischievous glint in your eye. Always a part of the show, right? You reply with a grin. You (laughs) grab Emily's arm and together you take off after Zach. Your flashlight's cutting through the inky blackness. The house seems to swallow you whole as you race down dusty hallways. Mm. The only sound, your ragged breaths and pounding footsteps. I can see it like on the cameras now when they're running and it's like... (laughs) It's all green. Yeah. You round a corner and nearly collide with Zach, who's staring slack-jawed at a doorway. What is it? You whisper, stepping beside him. The air feels thick with an unnatural coldness and a faint, mournful melody drifts from the room beyond. Through the cracked doorway, you see... One? A shadowy figure hunched over a dusty desk, its form illuminated by a flickering oil lamp. Or two, a specter dance swirling in the center of the room. The figure is translucent and ethereal. Two. We'll pick a two. Pick a two. I'd rather see a ghost dancing and, like, having fun than, like, stressing about work. Yeah. You know? (sighs) I gotta write these correspondence. (laughs) A gasp escapes your lips as you peer through the cracked doorway. In the center of the room, a spectral dance unfolds. Figures translucent translucent (laughs) and ethereal swirl in a slow, mournful waltz. Their forms shimmer like heat haze, their faces obscured by a swirling mist. 
The mournful melody seems to emanate from them, a sound both beautiful and heartbreaking. Zack throws you a bewildered look. What the? He lowers his voice to a whisper. Have you ever seen anything like that? Emily shakes her head, her eyes wide with wonder. It's beautiful, but sad. <laughs> that is so me. <laughs> Like, she's crying. It's beautiful, but it's beautiful, sad. But sad. <laughs> That's what I'm, my favorite part of Haunted Mansion. Yeah. Okay. Suddenly, one of the spectral figures breaks away from the dance and drifts towards the doorway. It stops, its misty form hovering interest from your face. You can make out the faint outline of a soldier's uniform, and a deep sadness seems to emanate from it. Do you, one, stay back and observe? You don't want to spook the apparition. Or two, reach out tentatively, driven by curiosity. You want to see if you can make contact. I want to reach out. <gasps> Spectral I'm gonna reach contact. out for that ghost. I ain't afraid of no ghost. I ain't afraid of no ghost. He just wants to dance. Yeah. He's just sad and wants to dance. Curiosity burning bright, you inch closer, drawn to the spectral figure. Its form shimmers and waves, the sadness emanating from its intensifying as you near. Emily and Zach watch you with a mixture of apprehension and encouragement. Taking a deep breath, you raise your hand slowly, palm outstretched towards the apparition. It feels risky, but a strange sense of calm washes over you. As your hand reaches the spot where the figure hovers, a jolt of icy energy shoots up your arm. You gasp, momentarily stunned. Hey, he's always like, it's cold right here. Yeah. No, right here, it's cold. Right here, the temperature dropped. Walk right here. The... And all of a sudden, the temperature dropped. Whoa. Could this be a <laughs> ghost reaching out to us from beyond? This the spectral soldier seems to re- react to your touch. Oh, isn't now you're like okay, but wait, is this a wait? How is hot is a, it? Is this a Confederate? Oh, I, yeah, it's Texas. Um, it was a field hospital. Um, I don't know what kind of ideas you have. We don't like the Confederacy here. We do not. The swirling mists around its form. Just punch it in the face. <laughs> Racist. <laughs> The swirling mist around his form coalesces slightly, revealing revealing a glimpse of a youthful face etched with sorrow. A faint, disembodied voice whispers in your ear. A voice that sounds like the rustling of wind through dry leaves. Help us. Trapped. Forever. The voice fades, replaced by a mournful melody once more. The soldier then rejoins the spectral dance, its form swirling away from you. Yeah, you're probably trapped because, yeah, like, Yeah, and you, you deserve it. You, yeah. Is there an sorry. option for us to not untrap them? Because <laughs> that's there, what I pick. Hand tingling from the icy touch, the weight of the soldier's words heavy on your heart. Emily rushes to your side, her voice laced with concern. Are you okay? I think so. You reply, still shaken. That was. You struggle to find the words. Powerful. Zach, ever the showman, recovers quickly from his initial surprise. Did you see that, everyone? <laughs> Slash and Slay just made first contact with the restless spirits of Blackwood Manor. This is groundbreaking. He throws the cameraman a pointed look. Get all this on film. Do you, one, press the soldier's spirit for information, or two, suggest a more respectful approach? Like what? Maybe we should try calming the spirits before bombarding them with questions. Uh, I'm going to press that bitch. Are you a confederate? Are you a racist asshole? Are you the worst? Fueled by a reporter's insatiable curiosity, you decide to push for answers. What happened here? Why are you trapped? You asked your voice firm but respectful. Thanks for being respectful. <laughs> the spectral figure in the room seems so to I slow call their walk. racist asshole. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Um, the soldier you touched before detaches once more, drifting closer to you. The disembodied voice whispers again, this time tinged with anger. Betrayal. Wait, let me do it like hell. Would we? Okay. He said betrayal, massacre, left behind. The voice trails off into a mournful sigh. Images flicker in your mind's eye. A battlefield choked with smoke. The glints of bayonet, the screams of the wounded. A horrifying scene of violence unfolds. A snapshot of soldiers' final moments. The vision fades quickly as it came. Emily steadies you with a hand on your shoulder, her face pale. I'm being so dramatic, too. You are, but you're, you're just you're I'm just matching the energy. It. You really are. Zach is buzzing with excitement. This is incredible. You're getting the story straight from the source. Can you get anything else, Slash and Slay? Suddenly, why, does he just keep, why does he keep calling me Slash and Slay? Maybe. Does he think that's thinks my name? Your, your name is Slash and Slay. I think he does. Hey, we're a team. We're together. <laughs> 
Suddenly, a cold wind whips around the room, extinguishing the flickering oil lamp and plunging you back into darkness. A blood-curdling scream pierces through the night, echoing from somewhere deep within the mansion. Do you, one, follow the scream? Or two, stick with Zack and regroup? Follow that scream. Come on. Who's gonna I don't want to regroup. Stick with Come Zach. on. We're tired of regrouping. We're tired of Zack. <laughs> We're tired Already. of Zack. Zack, we gotta go. We gotta go, man. Adrenaline surges through you. Ignoring the prickling fear on the back of your neck, you act on instinct. The scream! Someone needs help! You shout. <laughs> Emily okay, well, hesitates for a moment. I wouldn't think someone needs help. <laughs> Wait, dumb. Alyssa, it could be a trap. Oh, crap. Am I going to get trapped? Zack, however, seems to relish the chaos. Hold on, Slash and Slay. We need to investigate this scream together. He fumbles for his flashlight. It's beam a weak beacon in the impressive darkness. Do you one charge ahead determined to help? Or two, wait for Zach and Emily. I'm going to freaking charge ahead, bro. I'm charging Heroes ahead. Heroes charge. I'm charging ahead. I hear a scream. I go after Someone it. Someone could be in trouble. Aaron, of course. Aaron could be in trouble. Driven by the primal urge to help, you disregard Emily's warning and plunge into the darkness. The scream echoes again, closer this time, sending shivers down your spine. Suddenly, your foot catches on something uneven, sending you sprawling. Pain shoots up your ankle as you land hard on the cold floor. You would fall. I would. I absolutely would. As you scramble to your feet, another blood-curdling scream rips through the air. Ignoring the throbbing in your ankle, you press on, fueled by desperate hopes to reach a source in time. You would not keep going. You'd be like, ow, my ankle. I'd be like, I'm out. You'd be like, ow, Emily. Oh, I need ice. <laughs> I need ice. Rounding your corner, you burst into a dusty chamber. Cobwebs drape the high ceilings. In the center, you see a horrifying sight. A shadowy figure with glowing red eyes tower over a cowering form. The figure's claw into the victim's shoulder. Its face contorted into grotesque snarls. It lets out a guttural roar. It's a voice echoing off the stone wall. It's a monstru- monstrous entity unlike anything you've ever encountered. Do you want to distract the creature and try to save the victim? Or scream for help and hope Zach and Emily find you? You probably did neither of those. Where's run just, away? Uh, just shut the door. <laughs> <laughs> Where's ignore the problems? Enough, enough here. Um, uh, I guess I'll wait. I guess I'll scream for help and wait for you guys. Help, help. Fear surges through you. A cold fist clenching your gut. Uh, this monstrous entity is unlike anything you've ever faced, and your ankle throbs in protest as you consider charging in. You know it's a suicide mission, but the image of the terrified victim burns into your memory. Taking a deep breath, you decide your best, the best is to get help. Zach! Emily! Help! We're in the... You trail off unsure the room is located in the sprawling mansion. Hoping they're close behind, you bellow again. The creature throws its head back and lets out a deafening roar in response. This might be your only window. Do you, one, try to sneak past the creature and escape? Or two, throw something at the creature to distract it further? Throw something at the creature? Yeah. To distract it. To give the victim a chance. Um, I'll do that. Desperate hurl. Desperate hurl. With a pounding heart and the image of the terrified victim seared into your mind, you know it direct confrontation is futile why aren't they giving me any more information about this victim <laughs> it's They're a victim a victim taking a deep breath to steady your shaky hands you lunge towards the pedestal ignoring the throbbing pain in your ankle <laughs> yeah i wouldn't do that <laughs> without hesitation you heave a vase with all your might hurling it towards a monstrous entity she's gonna go through it the vase sails through the air a silent prayer on its wings <laughs> <laughs> it connects with a sickening thud, shattering against the creature's shoulder. Oh, that's oh okay. real. The victim seizes its precious opportunity and scrambles away. It disappears into the shadow. The creature turns its full fury on you. Uh-oh. You stand frozen, adrenaline coursing through your veins. Suddenly, a burst of flashlight beams pierce the darkness. <gasps> you hear Zach's voice shout, Alyssa, what's going on here? Well, he finally knows my name. Yes. He just asked me. Do you? <laughs> He's like, wait, what's her name? What's her, name? her name's not Slash and Slay? Do you, okay. one, warn Zach and Emily about the creature? It's not a ghost. There's something else here. Or two, turn around. Turn and run, hoping they can provide cover fire. You're injured and fear threatens to overwhelm you. So you lead me to the wolves or you tell us. I'd warn you guys. 
I'm going to be like, bye. I turn and run. Uh, bye. My ankle really hurts. <laughs> well, I can't really run. I oh, know. Relief, wash, relief washes over you as you see the familiar beams of Zach and Emily's flashlight. Taking a steady breath, you point at the enraged creature and shout, It's not a ghost. This thing attacks someone. It's not human. The creature lets out another ear-splitting roar, the sound vibrating in your chest. Zach and Emily gape at the sight before them, their initial bravado replaced by sheer terror. What do we do? Emily yells, her voice trembling. Thinking fast, you remember the spirit box Zach brought. The spirit box! Maybe we can distract it somehow! What? Will Zach use the spirit box, or will they take another course of action? Number one, Zach throws the spirit box at the creature in a desperate attempt to distract it. (laughs) (laughs) Or number two, Zach grabs Emily and yells, We need to get out of here now! He's gonna leave me? Yes, he just takes me! Either Zach leaves me... (laughs) Or he throws the spirit box I think it's funny that he just... He's like, we need the spirit box to distract me. He just throws it. Instead of, like, using it. Right. I like that. It's very Zach Baggins. Yeah. This is what actually happens to Aaron when he's like, help! And then they run, and they're like, there's nothing. But he's actually been tortured. Right. In a flash of inspiration, you shout, Zach, the spirit box! Maybe you can distract it! Zach's eyes widen in realization. With a desperate grunt, he roofs the spirit box from his holster and throws it with all his might. The box sails through the air, beacon of white noise amidst the chaos. The creature momentarily falters, its glowing eyes flickering towards the hurling object. Now, you scream, seizing the opportunity. Run! You turn on your heels, ignoring the throbbing pain in your ankle. And you... And, and, wait, wait, wait. Zach and Emily are hot on your heels. The creature roars its fury, but its initial lunge is hesitant. The cacophony of white noise seems to disorient it. You push open the heavy oak door and burst out into the hallway. You don't dare slow down. You can hear the creature in rage, thumps, and crashes from behind the door. You race through the dark hallway, Zach and Emily flanking you. Their flashlights cutting beams through the oppressive darkness. (laughs) Again, the oppressive darkness. Will you manage to escape Blackwood Manor, or will the creature break through? Do you, one, continue running blindly through the halls, hoping to outrun the creature? Or two, try to remember the layout of the mansion and head towards the exit? Well, isn't it the same thing? <laughs> no, one of them you're, like, being smart and, like, thinking. And the other one you're just, like, so, Just run screaming. <laughs> but the other one's, like, try to figure out the layout? The other one is try or- to remember where you came from. And the other one is run blindly, hoping to outrun the creature. I guess try to remember the layout yeah right like how could you not try to in that moment anyway like i've right been trying to remember unless it's like st- will we stop in the middle of the hall and be like which Ooh. way yeah no panting and fueled by adrenaline you grit your teeth and push the pain in your ankle aside this way you shout in your voice hoarse memories of the mansion layout glean from your earlier exploration Is it, would the other one be like this way oh uh, no this way <laughs> zach and emily follow your lead why are you in charge of this now? Your no lungs idea. burn, I'm but amazing. you dare not stop. Reach in the landing, you burst through another doorway, and find yourself in a dusty library. Well, obviously. There, in the corner, you spot the narrow back staircase leading down. Don't wear This way, you point. How do I know? I don't know. You take the rickety steps three at a time. Three at a time? You see a heavy wood door leading That's outside. That's dangerous. Just as you reach the bottom step, the heavy oak door from the previous room explodes inward in a splintering crash. You're at the back door, but it's locked. Do you, one, try to break down the door with your combined strength? Or two, search the library for another way out? I just keep thinking about taking the stairs three at a time. Rickety stairs three at a time. I jump over three stairs mm-hmm. at a time. Mm-hmm. There's no way I would die. What was the question? <laughs> Do you try to break down the door with your combined strength? Or search the library for another way out? Break down the door. <laughs> we don't got time. Get out! We're just going to search the library. Zach Bracken's a strong... He is. He got muscles. He got muscles. Okay. He got muscles for days. Zach Baggins. <laughs> Trapped between a monstrous entity and a log door, your heart hammers a frantic rhythm against your ribs. We need to get out of here, you yell your voice hoarse. Your voice is very hoarse again. <laughs> let's screaming. break this Let's break this door down, shouts Zach, <laughs> already throwing his shoulder against heavy wood. Emily joins him. Ooh, that's sad. Adding your, <laughs> adding her weight to the effort. Jeez. <laughs> the old wood groans under the combined assault but holds fir- for firm. The creature lets out another ear-splitting roar. You exchange panic glances with Zach and Emily. 
Suddenly, a memory sparks in your mind. You recall seeing a dusty fire axe mounted on a black at the wall earlier in the library. There, the fire axe, you shout, pointing towards the wall. Zack follows your gaze, his eyes widening in understanding. Will Zack reach the fire axe in time? And will it be enough to break down the door and escape the clutches of monstrous entity? That's the end of the story. Oh, a cliffhanger. <laughs> it said, um, this is the exciting climax of your slash and slay adventure. Unfortunately, due to the limitation of our current abilities, I can't provide multiple endings at this point. However, I can offer you two different resolutions based on Zach's success in retrieving the fire axe. Okay. Yeah. Uh, wait, do you want to see the one where he gets it and the, or one where he doesn't? He gets it. Okay. Let's escape. Let's get out of this hell hole. Get me out of this hell hole. I mean, I feel like they would have gone on forever if we let them. I know. More options. Keep going. Okay. This is the ending if he gets it. Okay. A surge of hope electrifies you as Zack lunges towards the fire axe mounted on the wall. With a grunt of exertion, Zack yanks the fire axe from its plaque. He spins around, brandishing the weapon like a knight facing a dragon. Now, you scream, gather your remaining strength. You throw yourself against the door once more, Zack and Emily joining you in a final desperate push. The old wood creaks ominously, and the satisfying crack gives way. What, what did you do with the axe? Did he grab the axe and then yeah. just push his weight against the thing again? Yes. <laughs> what? Oh, the, the, the axe adds to my More weight. More weight, yeah. <laughs> so. Um, Zack's chest heaving raises the fire axe in a triumphant oh. gesture. Looks like Slash and Slay are still in business, baby. He throws you a wink, but his bravado can't quite mask the lingering fear in his eyes. He throws me a wink. He's flirting. We need to get out of here, you say, your voice trembling Wait. slightly. And maybe call an ambulance for my ankle. <laughs> Emily nods, her face <laughs> pale so but dramatic. resolute. Zach ever the showman grins. This is going to be one hell of a story for the podcast. He throws the camera an annoying look. Get all this on film. We, can- <laughs> we just captured evidence of paranormal entity unlike anything ever seen before. As, a, as you limp away from the haunted mansion, the weight of your expert experience settles upon you. You may have escaped with your lives, but the encounter with the monstrous entity has left an undeniable mark. One thing for sure, your investigation of Blackwood Manor will be a story Slash and Slate will never forget. That's right. That's I will right. never forget it. What do My think? ankle still hurts. Still a little tendy. Can you imagine if that was actually an episode? That'd be amazing. Nothing is that exciting on Ghost Adventures. No. It's just Zach. It just is. I thought, okay, because I, I don't think we're going to have time to read for me to read one. So I'll have to do this again. Yeah. For Emily's Choose Your Own Adventure. Mm-hmm. Um, but I thought maybe we Maybe we could... can make it, ask them to make it a short one. Oh, yeah. Make it shorter. Make a short one. Oh, right now? Yeah. Well, to. I was thinking we could um, react to some Zach Baggins compilations. Oh, yeah. I want to do um, that. Yeah, let's do yeah, that. Yeah, I'd rather do that. 100%. <laughs> let's do that. Okay, guys, we're going to react to some um, Ghost Adventure funny moments. And if you want to watch this video, you can go to YouTube and look up Ghost Adventure funny moments number one mm-hmm, by really? Ghost Adventures HQ. We love them. But you can probably hear it, and I think you can get the f- effect the same. Oh, what the f- What is it? There's always so much... <laughs> Bug. <laughs> That's a big bat. Why did they make him do that it? They're trying to catch the bat. The tricky music. <laughs> oh, Zach was pissed. He was like actually pissed. <laughs> Yeah, he is mad. Out of these coquina shells. And these coquina Whoa. shells. They're actually, they made cement almost into it with these big Aaron bricks. Literally just almost fell off the cliff. He hates Aaron. He does. Doing these funny lockdowns. Though. Aaron stayed there for a long time. So we want to make sure that our nutritional value is uh, at its top level. He's eating saltwater so taffy. Let's go get our, uh, our snack on. Hello. Mm-hmm. Uh, so how do we begin getting this barrel of goodies? In our- <laughs> oh my gosh! 
He sounds like Patrick Bateman. How do we begin with goodies? You get to watch. <laughs> they all he always Just looks so shiny. Chills, this is the guy that quit. Mm-hmm. Because Zach Baggins didn't want to have fun. Yeah. He seems like he's like he seems like he'd be fun, but like yeah. No. I think he, he takes I think he's serious. legit serious. Yeah. But that's what's hilarious about it. I think he's serious about himself is the problem. Anyways, they're trying to get. He's the best. They're just getting a lot of saltwater taffy. Oh my gosh! It's like a whole. Back up, buddy. A donkey. We're investigating this place, but we seem to have a little problem. We can't find Mike. The only thing that we can find is a donkey. A donkey. Oh my gosh! Don't ever lunge a donkey's ass. He's a donkey. Oh, scary. A scary staircase. Irene, can you come over and play with my balls? Who said that? You know what Black Diamond is? No. Okay, they're skiing. Why are they skiing? What do with ghosts? The Stanley Hotel. Mm. So, um, we're gonna take the Stanley Hotel. That's our dream. Investigator here at the Stanley Hotel, and you're just gonna go by each door. We're not gonna go inside. We're gonna have a suspense like... keeper. We're not gonna open the door until lockdown time. There's no one present at Christmas. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> what is going on? Yeah, She's laughing at his face. Oh my gosh, imagine. She's cracking up at his burbage. She's really cracking up at him being so ridiculous. Oops. Oh my gosh. These are like behind the scenes. I know. <laughs> this makes me think it's very unserious. Oh, yeah. And we're not going to go inside of the rooms. He's just laughing. We're going to have a suspense keeper. So we're not going to open the door and go in. We're not going to do that until lockdown. Oh. Are you okay, Okay. Don't say suspense keeper. Think of a different word. That one's awful. Oh. Who is this? Sitting here at all with oh. these couples. What, three guys chilling Valentine's weekend in a romantic cat. Yeah, yeah. Jerusha, uh. your smile glows like a butterfly. And when we. What are you <gasps> oh my mm. gosh. Are you okay, man? Ouch, 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 ouch. Oh, he just slipped on ice and fell so <laughs> hard. <laughs> oh, poetry. <laughs> Oh, is Zach right as a love to you? I love you. How you doing? You come here often? Every day. Oh. I work here. It was the thistle flirting. through the gleaming moonlight to where your hair shone like diamonds through the night. He's running away. the one that got away. Ooh, that only made they? my heart grow fonder. For I shall weep for your return until our midsummer's night. It was one night okay. for tent in here. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. It's the tent in the first night. Only you, Aaron, would think. <laughs> Enough with the double entendres, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, my gosh. <clears throat> He's trying to fit in this hole. Oh, Plus the they the oh my god. Was looking at, right? Right in here. This is the first interview I've ever done laying down with another man. Oh. Underneath the house. <laughs> Underneath the house. Oh, oh yes, yes. Heads. Specified. <laughs> Just don't pitch a ten, you'll be fine. <laughs> oh. Ah, ah, ah. What did I get myself into on this one? I don't know, Zach. What did you? Is it good? Not bad. I'll be right back 
Please He's like less. <laughs> He's stuck at the. This is the tightest hole I've ever been in. Oh my oh, god. Oh, Zach. I feel like baby Jessica. <gasps> You're not as cute. Born me to the world. There you go. Push Rocky Point Manor. Thank oh. You, <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wait, you gotta spank the baby when they get out. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to watch behind the scenes. I know, it's hilarious. Like, outtakes. Yeah. Guys, I bet it's funny. We should do a video so they can watch it on TikTok, maybe. Yes. Edited it. Edited it. Edited. That way you can see what we saw. Yeah. We saw Water Taffy and the goodness. Oh, the best, the best Zach Baggins moments ever. The best of Zach Baggins. I love him so much. Me too. We'll have what to do another one. <laughs> yeah. Zach Baggins, how are you doing? What are you doing right we now? We will. We'll have to do another Choose Your Own Ghost Adventure uh, so where Emily can choose the story. Yeah. This one's all about you. It's all about slash me. Slash and slay. Me, slash and slay. Me, slash that's, and slay. That's my name. Um, that was so fun. I love Zach. I love Ghost Adventures. I love Slash and Slay. I love you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Get all sappy on me. <laughs> um, thanks for listening. I love you too. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it back, but thank you. Well, I do. I love you very much. Um, I'm going to be sad because you're going to be gone and I won't get to see you for a whole week, a whole week. and possibly more. Yeah. Do you get back? I get back Sunday the 25th. It's a long time. It's a long time. Yeah. But I'll be back that next week so we can record again. We get to record again. It's our favorite thing to do. But right now we're going to go play. Right now we're going to play Narnia. Chronicles of Narnia. So we got to escape the castle. We We already escaped it. We escaped the castle. We got to go somewhere. We're on the beach right now. Yeah. We gotta go. We gotta go to the Sorry, beach. Sorry, guys. We gotta play the place. Go to the beach. Beach. Let's, Let's go, go away. away. They hey, say hey, what they're gonna say. say. Uh, <laughs> follow, follow us on Instagram at slash and slay pod. TikTok at slash and slay pod. Email us at slash and slay pod at, e- at gmail.com and tell us if you want us to go on a ghost adventure and where we should go. And it has to be somewhere local because somebody... we don't got the money to travel right now. Contact us. Somebody contact, Zach. contact Ghost Adventures. Contact Zach. Specifically. Let them know that we are ready and waiting for their call. We are ready for you, Zach. We are ready. Our arms are extended Our, uh, dramatically. In the oppressive darkness. Yes. The beacon of light is what we want to be. <laughs> love you guys. We love you guys. Bye. Bye.